Access the new terrain and obstacle profile view via the nav log and route editor box. Enter a departure and destination into the editor and tap the profile button to view the vertical cross section of your route. The profile displays the clearance between your proposed altitude, or your actual altitude while flying, and terrain and obstacles along your route. Let's take a look at this feature in detail, starting at the top left of the profile box. Highest is the height of the highest terrain or obstacle along your route. Clearance is the amount of vertical clearance you have over that highest terrain or obstacle along your route. First strike is the distance in nautical miles from your origin or current position where your first impact with terrain or an obstacle would be based on your current planned altitude. Along the middle is the graphical depiction of the route profile. The altitude box displays your selected altitude. Tap and hold on the box, then drag up and down to adjust the altitude. Your selected altitude will also be reflected in the edit view. If your altitude approaches an obstacle or terrain, you'll see this obstacle or terrain change color to warn you of the possible conflict. If your proposed altitude intersects an obstacle or terrain ahead, the sky area will change from blue to red. Along the top bar, the clearance and the first strike values change to red, and the first strike tells you how far from your present position the terrain or obstacle intersects your proposed altitude. The warning colors follow the same definition as our Hazard Advisor feature. Yellow for terrain or obstacles between 1,000 and 100 feet below your aircraft, and red for higher terrain or obstacles. In North America, obstacles along your route are depicted as thick, vertical lines. Waypoints along your route are depicted as white vertical lines, and the waypoint name appears along the bottom of the profile view. You can also view the profile of a ruler selection on the map. Activate the ruler by touching the map with two fingers. The profile view will change to encompass just the area of the ruler. The profile automatically scales to show your entire route or ruler selection. You can zoom in or out with a two finger pinch and spread gesture. Pan by swiping left or right. Touch hold one finger in the profile to display the clearance pop-up. Drag your finger across the profile to see the clearance at each point along the route. As you do that, notice that the dot progresses along the route line and its color changes to reflect the terrain hazard color at that point. Once you're airborne, greater than 40 knots, with a route entered into the nav log, the profile offers two modes. Aircraft mode abbreviates the profile to display to 50 nautical miles down track. Route mode displays the entire planned route. The modes are selectable via the profile mode controller. In flight, the profile view continuously updates AGL and MSL values as you fly along. Toggle between route and aircraft modes to compare your planned and actual altitudes. Tap route to view your planned altitude. Tap aircraft to view your actual altitude. There are also two new instruments added to the HUD. Height AGL and Height MEF, or Dynamic Maximum Elevation Figure. Height MEF tells you the height of the highest obstacle or terrain within a 0.5 degree box around your current position. The profile feature requires that you download obstacle and terrain data for offline use. Terrain Profile is also a ForeFlight Mobile Pro feature. For more information, please visit our blog or our website and as always, send any questions to team at fourflight.com. From all of us here at Team Fourflight, thank you.